Okay, in this first video, I just want to go over uh, the Edgar kind of database and their API. Um, in the first video, I'm just going to cover how to get uh, the CIK for any ticker. Uh, so you could just like Apple, Microsoft, whatever. And then that's going to be used later to access concepts, facts, frames. I'll go over that in future videos. But today, we're just going to go over the CIK. Uh, so in there, uh, developer resources they have this company tickers json and it's pretty easy to access in python so if we just go over to visual studio code okay so we just create a new file i'll just call it cik this is just going to be a jupyter notebook um, i'm using a conda environment so to do that i just download mini conda uh, i'll leave links to everything just in the description but you're going to want to install uh, pandas and requests. Uh, I already have them, so it already just pop up. But uh, if you don't, just use pip install or conda install, one of the two. Uh, and then we're going to import both of those. Uh, and so for the Edgar uh, API, they want you to use a header. So just like kind of telling who you are. So it's just, um, we'll just name it. We'll create a variable for it called headers. I'll just use, uh, you have to put user agent and then just a random email. And then I'll just get a new. So uh, to do this, I'm just going to write a simple helper function, uh, make it easy and reusable. So new def cik So we're just going to need a ticker and then our headers. So first we're going to find the ticker, we're just going to do ticker upper, and then we're going to replace a uh, period with a dash, because like for some stocks like uh, Berkshire Hathaway B, uh, they have a dot there and it doesn't really like that in some, some settings, so just make it easy. Okay, so next we're going to pull the JSON. So we're just going to use requests for this. Uh, it's a simple get method. And I'm just going to paste in the link. You can pause and copy it, or I'll just leave it in the description as well. Oh, come on. All right, and then we have to give our header. And we're going to be have it as a JSON. So then to parse through this, um, we're just going to write a simple for loop. So for company in kickers JSON dot values. So if company ticker equals ticker then CIK equals, so we set it as a string, just cause we have to fill it. Uh, it wants a certain number of zeros, or a certain number of spaces when we input it later. So it's just easier if we write this in now. So company CIK string, and then we're gonna do dot Z fill with 10. And then we're just gonna return the CIK. And then if there's a value error or something, we're just gonna raise value error. And then we'll just do ticker. Perfect. All right. Uh, so that should be all set. So we'll run them all.
and then we'll just call the function for apple. Oh, forgot the number. All right, so we're just running for apple. Oh, I have to run it again. All right, as we can see here, it's the CIK for apple. Uh, this works for anything. So let's do Microsoft, for example. So this works for everything. So if we just do Microsoft, for example, uh, gives us Microsoft. Check another just to make sure. All right. Uh, so yeah, it's basically how you do that. All the code will be um, in the, the description in my GitHub. I'll have, I'll have a repository for this. Uh, but yeah, that'll be used later if we go to just this. As you can see, it just needs the CIK for most of the files. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have anything you want to see or uh, any suggestions on uh, ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.